What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jet, y'all. So today we're gonna be reviewing the video from the Philip Scott Show, and um, yeah, um, y'all know how a lot of women regret their revort, regret their divorces from their husbands. Shout out to Tia Mallory, who's talking about, who's basically showing that she's regretting her divorce. She just don't want to fucking say it. Yeah, um, listen to what this relationship counselor has to say about that. There's many women that divorce their husbands. Unfortunately, it's a big unfortunate. I hate to see families break apart. I really do. I think family today isn't respected because you got to think about Big Mama and the rest of them and, and Grandpa. They had their issues and problems, but yet they stayed in their marriages 40, 50 years up until the time they passed away. But this particular sister is going to address how a lot of women today just really regret divorcing their husbands. Go ahead, roll it. I'm going to say this with love. I'm going to talk to you like you're one of my coaching clients because I have ladies who actually believe this. You are 100% wrong. And let me tell you why. What one woman considers to be a good one is not the same as what another woman considers to be a good one. I have clients who regret divorcing their husbands because they later realized that what they were asking for or what they were feeling in the moment was just that, a feeling in the moment. Many women have good ones, but what I consider to be a good one may not be what you consider to be a good one. Some women think that a man who he's basically, he does everything the same every day. You know exactly where he is. He's literally has the same schedule every day. They think that is boring. They think it is mundane and they want something else. They want fire and spice and spontaneity and they want all the things. And there's nothing wrong with that. But women divorce men for that. It doesn't mean he wasn't a good one at all. It means he wasn't a good one for her at the time. Because if that wasn't the case, even Tyrese's ex-wife, Tyrese the singer, would not have admitted to regretting divorcing him because he was what? A good one. Come on. This is why I end up being in this space, a life and love coach, because somebody has to be the one to like get women to come in, sit down and really think about the things that they're saying. And I'm not trying to shade you. This is how I am with my clients. I have to be because I have to give some type of tough love or something for women to open their brains bigger than themselves. This statement is what is keeping women single or divorced because a good one looks like so many things. But you don't, when you get accustomed to something, you forget how good it actually is because you're used to it, right? Again, this is why later on people regret, they regret it. Now, do you think Big Mama didn't have her times that Grandpa got on her nerves or felt that, you know, maybe I can go do better or I'm bored or what the case may be? But see, what you had back in the day versus today, you had women that was either in the family or even friends that would talk to them and, and set them straight. For instance, let's say back in the day, a woman saying, Oh, I'm so tired of him. I just want to leave and whatever. The first thing they'll tell them is this and say, okay, you want to leave to go get what? Oh, maybe a man that drew this wheel say, okay, fine. Look at where you live in right now. You got a roof over your head. Let's go to your closet. Look at all the clothes you got in there. Look at your shoes. Look at look at the jewelry you have. You know, is your husband cheating on you? No. Is he beating on you? No. Is he is he paying all these bills? Yeah. Is he is your children taken care of? Is they treated good? Yeah. Okay. So you want to leave all of this for something outside the house? I say there's women right now begging, begging, crying at night on a pillow, wishing they had what you had and you don't appreciate it. And you want to throw it all away for, for some pipe dream in your mind to think something's outside that house. I say, okay, you get outside your house, you leave that man. And then you gonna go find out what's really out there. 
And then you're going to realize there's nothing really good out there at all. And then you're going to regret it. And that's what's happened to so many women. I, we've covered that so many times here is that women, I understand your realm is emotion, but don't make major decisions in emotion. Don't do that. Because one thing about men, I'm going to tell you as a man, if, a, if your wife leaves you and you really loved her and you know good well in your mind as a man, you didn't do anything that like, you know, hey, I didn't cheat, I didn't beat her, I didn't do things that I thought that was, you know, once a man lick his wounds and get over it, you can't come back. I'm telling you as a man, you can't come back. See, see, like she mentioned Tyrese's wife, oh, she'll love to be back with Tyrese right now. You left Tyrese for what? I mean. Um, okay, so let me interject right here. So, the fact of the matter is that this, is going on and a lot of women seem to regret going through their marriage now i am by far not a married man i'm not a relationship person a relationship uh guru i'm not none of this i'm just going based upon my views and what i understand from uh from a traditional context now I have a lot of women in my family that divorced their husbands. I only have one person in my family that's married and that's been married for 20 plus years. And that's my aunt and her and my uncle. My mom's been married for almost 10 years, 11 years now. So I can go based upon that too. What I understand from a relation from marriage, from a marriage aspect or based upon what I see is that there's a lot of ups and there's a lot of downs, but they still, they, they communicate with each other and they go through that marriage with each other and they understand that there's mutual respect between each other. Regardless if there's a argument or not, they don't show that argument around anybody. So everybody thinks that they're this whole perfect couple. Problem is a lot of women want perfection. They want a man to do whatever the hell they want when they want it, how they want it, the way they want it, and everything in which in, in their way. They don't understand that everybody has this, has a certain way of doing things in life. Everybody has a certain way of doing things in a relationship. Everybody has their own way of doing stuff and their own mindset. They want everything to be hand, to be done the way that they want it to, whether it be gifts, whether it be vacations, whether it be this and that. They want everything handed to them and they don't understand that the way that things are nowadays, marriage, marriage is there to, um, marriage is there to, um, hmm, damn, brain fart. Marriage is there as a safeguard, not a safeguard. Marriage is there for people to build a family with and build generational wealth with. A lot of women want things now, 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 but they don't want to take, they don't, they don't want to put in the work. They want you to put all the work in and if you don't do it the way they want, they want to leave. That's the reason why there's so many women out there that are so unhappy in a marriage. And then once they leave that marriage, they want to come back. And like Phil said, once that man get back on his feet after you divorced him, you can't come back. There's no way you can come back. Even after that, you can't come back. Even before then, you can't come back. If you were willing to destroy me once, if you were willing to destroy me once because of your emotions, you being loyal to your emotions at that moment that is temporary, you will be willing to destroy me again when you get that same emotion again. After you've ran the streets, after you've ran, gotten you gotten ran through by multiple different men that didn't give a fuck about you, they just seen you as a as a fun time. Now you want to come back to me in an even worse state than you left me, and you want me to fix you again so that you can leave me again to go back out there again and do the same thing over and over and over again. Men today do not want to deal with that shit, period. 
And a lot of women fail to realize that they are the cause of a lot of the problems in a relationship. Men have their problems, yes. But a lot of women take those problems and multiply it by 10. Because they don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to dog on. They don't know how to dog on work through their emotions. They don't know how to think logically. If I can't, if he can't take me on vacation, I want to leave him. Instead of thinking, okay, how can how can I help this man so that he can take me on vacation, so that he can take me on dates, so that he can so that he can do the things that I want to do too. Instead of thinking about me, 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 it's thinking about instead of thinking about it's a us. Us as one, one as a collective. See, they don't want to tell you this true. Men think about the collective of the family, the state, the health of the family. While they thinking only singularly as themselves. They don't want to tell you that true. They know that men think about things as a collective. What is it? What is this? What's going to happen? How can we do this? Can we do this? What? How can we put money aside for our future? How can we put money aside for retirement? How can we put money aside for building ourselves up? They don't want to have that conversation because if they have that conversation, they will be they will be the problem and the cause of a lot of this, a lot of a, a lot of the problems in the relationship. Like I said, I'm not a relationship person. I'm probably off on this, but maybe not. But anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe, channel, support, podcast, and spot I will see you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.